Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Grampy Coding. Uh, today we are going to uh, implement, start implementing an upload form. So currently on Grampy website it looks like this. I go to Grampy New. You, you can't go there because it's admin stuff, but yeah, I can show you. So there is, it's very basic form, right? So there is a upload field where you can drag and drop picture in there. Uh, there is an area for text, it's a simple text area, nothing interesting, and there is also filled into buttons, right? So pretty simple, extremely simple. I can, you could um, have it implemented on basic HTML, no JavaScript or CSS, maybe except for image preview, right? There's button to, button to change the picture, delete picture, and there's status indicator, stuff like that. Yeah, but uh, because we are in like in modern web, I want to get benefits of modern web, of course. So that means basically auto saving, right? And this is one one thing. And the other thing is that pictures needs needs to be processed after it is uploaded. So it needs to be compressed, and it happens on the server as well. So what we are going to do is start completely anew. Right, so this form, as it is right now, is um, implemented a little bit ad hoc, and I don't like the code, uh, how it's written, and um, it also have race conditions, so it's not pretty reliable, and there are not like uh, isolation components, there is no clear state, everything is like um, spread all over the whole file. So I figured I start a new, but implement it as good as I, as I can, right? So with um, all the best knowledge how to implement user interfaces I have. Uh, so usability-wise, there isn't going to be much change. Maybe a little bit more explicit indication of what's going on. So the new forms look like this, right? So there is the same drag media here, the delete button, a text area, post button, the redraft button also goes in there on the right. There will be tags eventually, but uh, I think we'll remove them for now. And there will be status, right? So uh, the status is what's going on with like images uploading, uh, image failure to upload. So basically, I want to I want reliable code. I want support uh, code that can easily be supported in the future or changed in the future. So I know clean, modular, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I want to write a code that can really be understood. Like uh, you can know what is exactly happening and why and when where it can go from there, stuff like that. So uh, code that can be put into your head like completely. Uh, and this is long journey probably. Um, but yeah, we will be doing this in pieces. So the first piece I figured is to implement user interface itself, right? So there is no logic, right? So right now this is working on a local server, as you can see. And there is no logic behind it. So if we open source code here, uh, it's just the DC editor that takes some argument, but not really, not, not yet, right? And then there is some bunch of text without no code at all, right? So it's just static HTML, basically. And at the end, yeah, that's it. So it is dynamically rendered through closure script, but in implementation-wise, it's just static picture, right? So yeah, let's start with removing tags, I guess. We also need this and we go tags, 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 tags. Okay, so we have specific places for tags, but we are not implementing the, them right now, so I'm going to remove them. Okay, and for now, I should have done this earlier, but let's see. Okay, tags are gone. So there is also, it is also adaptive. So when I make my browser window smaller, it moves. Um, I also have 
Um, at some point, for some reason, I added this to body. Transition uh, 500 millisecond is in out, so the body doesn't, the size doesn't change um, immediately. It instead is animated. I'm not sure why I did that. I don't remember, of course. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So, uh, we we'll start with this. Let's remove it, yeah. So what we're going to do, so the first thing that I know about user interface, especially complex user interface. So this doesn't look complex, right? So it, it looks well, pretty basic, pretty simple. For now, uh, so the trick is, the trick is each part of this user interface has some state and that state can change. And um, combination of those states is like it's, um, combinatorial explosion, right? So there's an enormous amount of combinations. And the problem with implementing interfaces, user interfaces like this, is that you implement the main basic state like this, the default state, right? Uh, the, the screen that you see most of the times. But then uh, there are some transitionary state. For example, when I drag a picture and it starts uploading, you maybe see it for a split of a second, right? Uh, most of the time you didn't see it at all. So if I go to Grumpy website and upload it, you, you probably not see, as I drop this picture, you will, will not see any progress indication at all. Yeah, it appears immediately. There is actually an uploading process. Let's see with this one. Oh, you can see it. Okay, anyways. Um, so if picture is big or this connection is, uh, your connection is bad or something like that, you might see that, right? And I want uh, this intermediate state that you don't see most of the time, but if you see it, I want it to be pixel, as pixel perfect as it is right now. That's the first thing. So all the uh, small, minor, intermediate uh, states should be perfectly laid out and perfectly rendered uh, even though you might not see them most of the time, right? That uh, that will translate the feeling of the quality of user user interface, right? So if your user interface looks fine, but then when you do something, it blinks or it stutters or something something happens that you you cannot notice because it happens like in a split a second, and then uh, another perfect state is rendered it creates a feeling of that you cannot rely on it right and i don't want that so that's the one thing so i want every state to be counted implemented reviewed uh, perfectly rendered visible and i want that to state for the future not not for the beginning right so i can figure every state right now on a paper somewhere and uh, implement them but in the future i need to add one more and what do i do like i forget already what i did before and stuff like that so this is the problem number one and the problem number two is error states right so error states is um, just one of the case of intermediate states when something goes wrong again you don't see that most of the time but if something goes wrong i want to know exactly what will happen and how it will look right so this uh uh, two basically uh, my main concerns for today and the way of how to make sure that happens uh, the only way I know of is to implement a gallery of all, all the states of your user interface so basically what we are going to do is we take this function uh, right so it's, it renders this whole page right? so we take this page as uh, this function and we make a taken argument that is just a static, uh, just a map of um, of the state of user interface, like uh, view model or something like that, right? And it is going to render it. And then we will pass some, like some examples of the state, and we will check each one of them that uh, they are rendered perfectly, basically, that, like that. Okay, so let's start with this. So what do we need, right? So we need some picture here, probably. We need some text here. We need author. Obviously, we need status. And all well, that is for now, right? So I also have some predefined structure that it, this way it was implemented in editor in the previous. So I don't want to change that yet. 
maybe I will eventually, but I want to accept exactly the same form of um, data as actually it's maybe easier just go there and look at the, at the form of the data. Yeah, so data is here. Okay, so this is what is rendered right now. Let's exit that. Let's insert it somewhere. Oops. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so there is somebody that not really interested in it. Okay, so there's picture. So this goes. I wish I had some formatter uh, hooked up in there, but I uh, just don't, fortunately. Okay, so basically this is, what is this? Oh, there is a new false, post ID, right? There is post, uh, post has pictures, some pictures. Maybe it's, it would be simpler just to format this closure. Okay, let's see, we have REPL here. Do we have PP? Yeah. No. Why not? Huh. Maybe we need this. Yes. Okay, so this is formatted now. Okay, cool. It's not how I like it, but okay, so we have post ID, we have post, post has body, author, picture, picture original, which we don't really care about, these things we don't really care about, repost we don't care, and we have user. Okay. So uh, let's start with this. So so say Post body author. So first, or first thing that I notice that it's not author is well, it's, it is author actually. I'm not sure why there are two of them. Okay, let's focus on post. Okay, so there's body, there's author, there is maybe ID, right? So in there somewhere there is ID. Okay maybe i don't know let's create something called edit post id and id is okay let's use this doesn't really matter what okay just not to forget okay so uh here we need post and, and really what we need is all we care about is post for now right so uh, post is gonna be keys body id body also right and picture yes and picture yes picture, picture okay uh, for picture we probably are going to need something some details but Let's call it state, let's call the state, because we need let anyways. Uh, no, it really, it's hard to read it like this. Okay, let's say we have key post, okay, then we have post passed like this, and picture has, picture has URL content type and dimensions, right? So, don't need dimensions probably we have url okay we, kill, we probably care about url mostly okay so let's start with this case url picture okay so this is what we have does it compile yeah it seems so okay cool now um and we have some states so, so the, the, the first and most trivial state is new post right and new post has nobody it has also set to me still because i'm the author uh, i'm the current user it has no id because id hasn't been assigned yet maybe maybe it should have an id i don't know 
Okay, no, it doesn't have an ID. Okay, so so these are few states, right? So there is um, post binary author, there is anonymous author, there is edited post. So we have some body. Uh, okay, let's call it body changed because edit means something else. So body is different, author is still the same, dragged sending, uh, so this is probably not interested, interesting for now. Okay, so these are our basic states, okay, so this is what we start from, okay. Now, uh, we need some UI to, to go through the states, right, so I, the way I figured we should implement it is set something like debug on the query, okay. Now, uh, I don't really remember how to parse location in CLGC. Mm, okay, so there is location, right? So let's see, let's see what it is about location. It probably has some fields that we are interested in and we interested in it search yeah this is correct okay so um location search set okay so we have a bit here um okay so we are going to implement it right here this is a place we mount we don't need okay so here we check the debug is all get Okay. Or get this location search. Yes. Uh, so we have this or and string because otherwise. And what we need is can we find debug in there? So it's either question mark or yeah it's like it should be like this question mark or ampersand or beginning of string then the word debug then it's either ampersand or end of string right so And here we have debug, and debug is pretty simple. It's it is uh, also run div c. It is going to have um, local. I don't remember how to write components anymore. So first is value, and then it's key. Okay. So the, the value will be in you, state will be this, this is going to state. Okay, state is gonna be state, right? This so and we have state here, okay. So maybe we move them down there. Maybe. Okay. Uh, and what we are going to do is we are going to render select, okay. Select, yes. Um, if, so this is going to be a div, obviously. Then we are going to render a select. And then we are going to render uh, an editor. 
stay and get from states state okay something like this and if i remember correctly what we need to do is to iterate from states we need to offer here an option it needs to have a value so value is key and we may, maybe we need something like on change let's see if you have selected that no we don't have selected okay let's let's see if we have react forms select yes so it needs a root value and it needs a key selected okay so selected is key equals state yes and then we need something like on change and on change is gonna be basically what does it takes change and event target value okay so we need event target value okay so we are gonna need event reset state Okay, so if it's not debug, we figure something out. For now, we only care about debug. Okay, let's see if we have got something here. We got some select. Yes, it has some empty values. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I think option needs a body or something like that. Yes. And we put value here. Oh, no, no, sorry, we put key. Still key. Yes. Yes, so we have some states new, another author, anonymous author, cool. Yeah, it's not very convenient. I thought that I will be able to change it with my keyboard, so it would be more convenient. Maybe we have to implement something like. Um, keys for navigation for switching between states this is all okay so okay uh, for now for now let's say this is um this is a column and select an editor will be turn elements of the column okay so now we have state cool um yeah so i'm actually a, a little bit confused what type of maps do we have? Do we have something like a map that remembers insertion order? I remember something like this. Maybe I just need to, uh, to scan through closure sources. Okay, let's see. If I can check right here. Core. Order. No, first, and the set. For some reason, I think I remember that Clojure had a type of map that remembers in which order you insert items into it. No, it's, uh, I was wrong. Okay, this, this is not the problem. So the only change, we will just change it to this so it's going to be a vector of 
<laughs> of doubles. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Let's, let's keep them here. We are not worried, but okay. So, here we uh, what do we do? We implement the way same seems correct still. Okay, equal state. But this one is not going to work, right? So, for this one, we will have to, to change. We need to find a state through the states again. Okay. So Let's see if we have something in there. I remember also I maybe implemented some function that looks through a correction. See, yeah, see, already got called. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So, what we need is here with the predicate here, collection with states. So, it's basically KV. Uh, equals key state yes this is our element and we need to take second orbit yeah let's let's go with I also um, I don't like that our state is um, a key and a value at the same time. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is how did I call it in here? I wonder. I called it data. Yeah, very smart. Okay, I called it data because it's not a post, right? So. Um, Maybe I need this to be called state key. State key, okay. Uh, state key, state key, state key, state key. But here it is just state, okay. So here it is state, yes. Like this, okay, let's see. Seek, yeah, seek is our core. And then in efficient space is core. We need def ah. Okay, we have core implemented in, yeah, in CLJ, it's written CLJS, and this is. We can't use it. Uh, we can port it. I don't want to do that. Okay, let's just go with simple reduce, like, or even simple, like, when key equals value. Okay. Okay, so use default value of value props and select and set it selected on option. Huh. So this is a warning now. Okay. Radio. And it's actually, I can do that as well. It's maybe even simpler for me. Okay, so warning is gone. Now do we get. Uh, yeah, we don't do that. Okay, what I also want is to two buttons to click through states, right? So back and forth. This should be relatively simple. I just need to. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. I, I, I will need to convert this into a row. So this is a custom CSS classes that just implement some flexbox for me. So select is one, uh, then we have a um, button that says 
here and back and it says over here like this yes kind of yeah these are terrible of course but who knows no this is terrible <laughs> Uh, I have class called BTM, but this will probably make them too big. Maybe not, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe uh, it's also secondary. Okay, let's see. Yeah, maybe this is better. And maybe I can make them smaller by implement something like small or something like that. Okay, so let's go to CSS here. We have buttons in here. So we have secondary, tertiary. I have probably small button, which will have just uh, padding. Um, I don't know. Something like this. Let's see how it looks. And we will decide. I didn't call them small, right? Okay, so this is better. Maybe I want like 16 here, here, here. Okay, let's go on this. Okay, and I also want to select maybe to grow, I don't know. Let's see, yeah. maybe this is better. So these buttons we have to implement actually that they, that if you click on them you change the state. It shouldn't be too hard, right? We need some functions though for that. Yeah, let's, let's hide it. A fan um Which state? Okay, let's call them debug states. Yeah, this is probably better. Okay, states. Debug state, and we what we need is you know about debug states already. What we need is state key. Yes. So first thing we need an index, right? So let index and we need delta okay so that's the first one is delta and what we need is index index is calculated by do we have something like find i think find should work on a vector right No, no, the find is completely, completely different thing. Um, I feel how there is no index of in closure. Okay, let's, let's uh, look at some. Some does some searching, but it doesn't turn index, right? So instead maybe see also index okay um hmm. how do i find index in the collection um in java i know in closure i don't really know And we don't have anything like some indexes, right? Huh. We can always use reduce, but reduces not like reduce. It's too low level. Uh, how to figure out which which index this key corresponds to. So we have something like filter. What does keep indexes now? 
Nice. Looks Yeah, maybe we, we can use this. Okay, so the trick is we call keep indexer. Uh, we write a function that takes index and kv and we say when uh, key equals state key return index, right? Uh, index is going to be the single element in there. Uh, the downside is that we will filter the whole collection to the end, which I don't really buy. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. Actually, because it's lazy, maybe it's okay. So we have index now, right? So actually, we need to state the key like this. Okay, let's let's be index prime is plus index delta mod. We have mod in color. Yeah, we have some. Okay, let's check. Uh, so say we have seven elements. We say mod seven seven zero right and mod eight zero okay and if we have minus minus one six cool yeah that's what we need mod our number and count debug stats okay this is our new index uh -huh. And the new key is going to be get the back states index prime like this. Yes. And then we do the simple thing we just reset state key with key prime. Okay, so this function is gonna be is gonna change on click. This is minus one state key. Right. Plus one sticky. Okay, super. So this should make these buttons work and actually wrap them around as well. So search the back state. What do we? Oh. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have some error. This button will it RT. Hmm. This is interesting. Because I didn't map anything here. So I need debug states. I need them in keep indexed and then I take first. We are clicking and we are wrapping correctly. Yes, yes. Cool. So these buttons are going to get us through all the states. 
uh, I have a big, a little bit of bug to point out going on here. Maybe I should put the max space on it, maybe not, I'm not sure. Okay, what do we do now? So now let's see if we can render the states actually. Yes, so to do that, uh, what we're gonna do. So now this is passed down to this component and we have body also and so on. So we basically what we do is just put in the values, right? So also is also here okay and then body text area um i don't remember probably we need to put it not as a value no text area use value attribute instead okay so all good uh, value body okay. and, and a picture right so we also need a picture picture is going in there but 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 so there are two states either we don't we have a picture or we don't right so if we have it we render um this drug media here if we if we don't have it if we have it, render picture instead and uh, put this icon in there. Okay, so there's actually yes and no. Uh, actually, another one is, okay, this one is to do also. If some picture, yes. We are the picture, but this is not picture in our case. What? Oops, sorry. So this stays here instead. Take some picture, blah, blah, blah. Otherwise, no picture. Okay, so here. Let me see on real Grampy website what class does this have. Maybe I just we can just reuse it, this class. So the class is post image, post image fix. So this post image fix does. Ground size 100%. What does it mean? Why it's so big? Uh, Somewhere in there should be like max width, max, max height. This is all very strange. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why this padding in there is there at the bottom. I'm not sure where the max height on an image set. Hmm. I know there is limit to very tall pictures, but I'm not sure if it's set. I think we allow 500. Yeah. We have post image flex and post image fix. Yeah, this is complicated. I'm not sure what, what does this mean, but. Let's see. So if image has a dimension, right? Dimensions. We do some pneumatics on this these dimensions and we render fixed size some some crazy stuff what is going on here. I wish I commented what, what I was doing there. Okay, so probably uh, what we need 
to have instead is to have these two classes and an image inside, okay? So these two classes, image with src set to URL. Oh, oh yeah, I think this is not a good idea. So I will set it to URL of picture. This is one, and the second one actually is what we want to do, is we want to show this trash icon inside the image. Okay? I hope it has position relative or something like this. Let's, let's actually see. First image, legs. No, I don't have position relative. Okay. Why not? <laughs> let's let's uh, let's hope. Let's hope this doesn't break anything. Actually, I'm seeing that it also has different paths for image, not image. Okay. Anyway, yeah, but we didn't have any test state with an image. Okay, so drag it sending with image. Image uploaded. You probably are gonna have something like. Uh, yeah, let's not get distracted. Maybe you also need some default state so I don't repeat it everywhere. Maybe. Yeah, maybe this should be default state. Yes. For example, <laughs> there's a trick when you want to deep merge maps, you use merge with merge. Uh, it works just one level deep, but for us, it's Enough. Okay, so this is going to be our default state. The body is empty. Also, is the setting Kitonsky post. And so for this, don't ch change anything. This will change authors. This will change authors. Here we change body, body author. Here we also don't care about body or author, but what we do care about is picture, and in picture we care about URL. Okay, so URL. Um, let's just go and see some URLs. So this picture seems fine by me. Let's do this, and URL is gonna probably be something like that. Okay, it will probably even display sharp. Okay, let's find a vertical picture as well, and we also are gonna need some um, not, no, no, this, this is okay, this is okay, but this image is fit, right. Yes, it is fit. Okay, I, I am going to do one more. So this is original. So the thing is that before we have a chance Uh, so drag and drop works like this. You drag an image onto the page, right? 
and the page get access to this image, the blob, immediately. And then in the background, you send it to a server. When it comes from a server, it is resized. You get a nice fit image that you can place instead. But before that, you have a full size image. And but you, the, the upside is you can show it immediately, right? So that's why I need two states actually. Uh, one to render the image. The, it's probably uh, what you saw as flex image right and upload it with gonna be probably fit image because we will know the size of the image at this point uh, do i want to take a vertical image maybe maybe let's see there's probably something in there yeah no this is vertical image okay sending vertical Let's see, let's see if uh, any of this works. <laughs> well, for now it doesn't, right? So we have only one state for some reason, uh, because I forgot to close here. Yeah, this one. Okay, and you, and then so also is changing. You see it here as it goes through states, also change. We also need to avatar to change, but it's, it's not yet. Now we have some body, okay, cool. Dragged sending. So now image didn't render. Okay. This image did render and this image didn't render for some reason. And we have a problem that um, hmm, this thing is displayed far away from the image. So or you can already see some problems with my design, right? So I, I wonder why this image doesn't render actually. Maybe I didn't sync up. Yeah, I synced up a long time ago. So I'm going to go and write run a backup script, which will just download Grumpy content from the server hosting to my local machine. So I will have everything set up locally. The same images, basically. So yeah, what? Yeah, I don't have file. Yeah, uh, this one is gone. So backup here. This one we don't need. Okay, cool. Let's see again. Yeah, now we have all the images. Could not uh, stop going to the main site. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, image. Okay. So and there is uh, this. The, here is our icon for deleting, right? Maybe it can use some background or something like that. Shadow, maybe. Sending. So this is supposed to be like in the process of sending the image. This is supposed to be in the process of sending. This is when it is uploaded. And actually, I can go and check on the sizes of this image, which are. 750265. Okay. So actually, I can go to post even. So this is our image content type. This is what we are gonna post in there. We are not using this yet, but this is what will come from server eventually, right? So content type and dimensions. So for now, it should be good for us. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. So we, we are here and a save file and it resets. This is not, not good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is not good because But it's simple to fix, right? So we need the fonts, the work state key, new, like this. And here we reactive. This one we don't need. Like this. And now we have to react somehow to change to this. And to do that, we are gonna. 
first to name it and second to write um, react this is how react um, this is how ram does reactivity sort of and we also need to what stop pretending we don't really care about how good architecture in these functions are but if we have a state global state we can just use it here and Cool. Let's see if I go now to image uploaded, save code. Yeah, invalid RD0. Wow. What? Okay, this is worrisome. It's around the parameter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But, huh. It is strange because the bug is exactly zero already. How could it be invalid? Hmm. Let's see. Let's render without the bug. Okay, something is not right. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Ram reactive is not a function, probably. No? No. Hmm. Well, let's go to the documentation and read it. Ram reactive shouldn't be in brackets. What's, what is this pro its problem then? Hmm. Ah, yeah, of course. We have to make it an atom. <laughs> Silly me. Okay full reload because now state doesn't change go here we, we yeah so if you grill reloads but the states stays cool so what what do we have we have some problems so we can move this to the left probably i don't know right uh, another thing that i see is it probably needs some background maybe or maybe it needs a shadow okay let's see maybe shadow would be enough look shadow Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure if I like it or not. But it is more more noticeable this way. I probably don't like it so. Okay, so there is media delete, right? So instead, uh, probably we could call this thing in there where media also in case we need to reference it somehow. Not sure. No, okay, okay, let's not do that. Uh, so we have media here. Um, can we put this huh. um, I'm 
modifying the position to select goes down, right? Okay, this is uh, hmm, to figure out it's enough some another time. So the ground color here is probably gonna be something like a five f five f five. So it's not completely on hover is yeah, not gonna change the ground color at all. Okay. Or maybe it needs a border. What if I put a border on it? Let's see. Um, no, it looks terrible now, right? Okay, I'll figure this out. For now, let's go with box shadow. Box shadow zero zero five pixels zero 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 fifty. There it is. We can probably return it right. It's <laughs> so this is details that um, start to appear once you start going through every every detail in there. Okay, so uh, another thing that I need is image router. Okay, so let's implement this for now to see how it goes. So how it goes is usually this. Have a list of authors. Okay. Yes, so there is another problem. I have this core.clj, uh, which is unfortunately CLJ. So I couldn't. Um, included from closure script yes which is unfortunate okay how do i make it how do i move it so i have also i also have config which is config right uh, which is unfortunately is not clgc as well because there is just just lots and lots of um, closure specific code but also they semantically they go into config um, but in practice hmm. okay so I, I feel like I need another namespace but I don't know how to call it which will be shared between um, closure and closure script. In fact, no, core doesn't look like this. Core includes config, right? So, what if I move everything in there? In no, can't do that. Hmm. I already have corner space. How do I call it? I can call it env. I can call it shared. I can actually, I might actually start moving core to CLJC because some stuff in there I want to share, like these functions, right? Um, Maybe it's time to split core into core and not core. I don't know. Bring some. Yeah, so this stuff I don't want to port, right? So, okay. 
yeah maybe it is time to make some part parts of the core CLGC compliant um, it's too much work so I need to wrap every function thanks to how Kosh works right and mm, okay yeah let's let's call let's create another new space we are going to call it uh, grand p base okay and what it's going to contain is all source also by these functions on collections uid probably not and they send and this one use any namespaces in there? No, seems like not. So I'll just see core uh, all source. Okay, here we need base. So dependency graph is not pretty, is not going to be pretty. Yes, um, uh, zip, zip, I use zip, no. Do I use country, country? They use update cell. Okay, so let's let's start uh, also. Okay, so we have it here. It's becoming base all source, right? And we need to include base as base. Cool. Next one, also by also by is many places so we are going to replace it with base also by replace for files so we need the base um, This is already part of uh, this. Okay, let's see what the else we have. We have core zip in here. We need to change it to base zip. Include base. Country. Oh, country is actually quite popular. Okay, base is already here and here. What else? I did some key here. Finally, seek. Okay, let's see. Seek. Yes. Seek is used here. So now it should compile, sort of. We all can also use instead of this, we can use seek. Oh no, not instead of this. Here, there we cannot use seek. Here we can use seek. And 
do a show it. But it's okay as it is. Mm, maybe we should, but I don't know. I like seek more for some reason. Because it doesn't, uh, because it has pure predicate function, right? And uh, sum has predicate and return function in the same function, which is something I don't like. And yes, it is basic, and we need to include that in the. Okay, let's see. It seems to compile. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see if it renders. No, it doesn't render. So we cross. Hmm. We fucked up something, but we don't know yet what. Maybe. It doesn't work? No. So seek returns. Yeah. No, 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 no. Seek must work. And actually somewhere in there we can yeah closing exceptions okay, and we can okay it's still far back okay anyways no I don't want to close exceptions so something is not working probably maybe C doesn't work I'm not sure. Let's print all in state and see. State is new. This is fine. Right? Ah, oh, because I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, because I need to use this stuff. Cool. Yeah, now we have it. Um, Oh yeah, why, why I was doing that, right? So uh, avatar, 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 yeah. Okay, so the thing with avatar is, uh, actually, let's see where thing with avatar is, because I'm not sure. Yeah, so this is your avatar. <laughs> um, I can actually make a RAM component component out of it. RAM component, or we can make a function. Okay. So we can make a function called avatar URL. Avatar URL, and it accepts author of post. And we put it into base. That's why we created this shared, shared namespace, right? And avatar URL also. So there's simple logic behind it, but I didn't want it to be written in two places. So. So if also is in a list of authors, we use its user, his user box. Otherwise, we use guest user box. Right? Um, and that's why we go now. We go here. We go here. And here we say base avatar URL also. See, this is Nikitansky, he's returning, this is unknown user, this is Nikitansky job. Okay, yeah, avatar it works. And what's more importantly, it is reusing the shared logic behind server and client. Actually, looking at this, I think we are going to see more, more of it. 
because for example picture here we want to render it exactly as server renders it kind of almost like server renders it um, Here it is. So the logic is pretty complex, right? Um, pretty complex. That's why we don't want it to be duplicated, probably. Probably not. I'm not sure. Uh, how long is a recording? Do we have some? Yeah, it's been about an hour. Okay, so let's say, oops, we stop right here, right? So we have something going on. We have this switcher of states. We can go through multiple states. If you have this debug key, if you don't, if you don't set it, we go into just normal user interface. But if you put it in debug, here we have it. So drag media and we have this icon. If we sing this, we see this icon, for example. Um, yeah. There's also like, so you see edit here is supposed to be Let's actually go to Grumpy website. So if you go into new, I see Grumpo's delete draft. Yes, delete draft. And if I go into edit, I have update post and cancel. This is what I want as well. Okay, so let's let's say we implement one more, right? So if post has ID, we render actually different buttons. Okay, so if some id we write update otherwise write post and delete also is well, the same logic applies here if we have an id this is going to be a cancel button, actually. Cancel edit to be specific. But if we are in draft mode, we can actually choose to delete the draft completely if we don't like it. Okay. Let's see if we can. Yeah, we have update, cancel edit, otherwise, we have post and delete draft. Uh, it should be actually capitalized, I think. Should I use different graphics here? I don't know, maybe, probably. Uh, for edit, I mean. Yeah, um, let's, let's me fix this in post post, post post label, text transform, uppercase this post call, and edit. Oh. No. no. Okay, yeah, maybe it wasn't a good idea. Let me then leave update lowercase and post uppercase. Just. Okay, yeah, this is another example when you see that in different states something might not work out for your UI. Um, maybe update should be smaller, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, uh, but I think this is it for today. Let me just commit stuff that we implemented here. I hope I didn't break any videos or whatever by putting location relative. Doesn't seem so, right? Seems okay. Okay, let's hope we didn't break it. Um, 
Zkusím, zkusím, zkusím. So it's basically all relates to extraction of base. Not very interesting. We have base RPC itself. Okay, so debug mode for editor RPC. Yeah, this is not going to deploy anywhere. I'm working the branch, so just. Normally, actually, so semantically, what I have in core and what I have in base is pretty much the same, right? So it's a set of reusable components and functions that I share across my whole site. The problem is that I don't want to, maybe I should actually wrap some of them. So I, I don't like that I have two names now. Maybe I will eventually just move everything from here that is portable to base, I'm not sure. Maybe it is okay. So when there is like just a couple of functions that you keep for closure, for example, so uh, there is make UID, right? And I don't probably need it in JavaScript. Do I need it anywhere? Yeah. Uh, and it is implemented using Java class here. So I just put it in, in CLJ, right? And this is okay. But when half of your functions or even more is wrapped like this and are not portable, maybe it may it does make sense to have a component that um, Two different namespaces. So I know that what is in base I can reuse, what is in core I cannot reuse. For example, mine type, mine type, what is mine type actually? Okay, so it's ring function. <laughs> yeah, it's content type, mine type, I can't reuse it even. Okay, okay, I think this is for now, all for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, come back and eventually we will probably finish this. I'll probably finish some of this work, especially with small details like how to render image off screen. And then we will maybe eventually get into implementing the logic behind all these buttons, changes and status display and stuff like that. Okay, thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye bye.